Uh, today I was watching the Olympus Olympics with my sister. Last night she didn't really want to watch opening ceremonies and I was only home to watch part of it. Um, but today I'm like, well, they're actually doing sports, Alex. It's not just a show. And um, Alex is my nine-year-old sister's name. And uh, she enjoyed watching. She missed the end of cycling, which I got to watch. And it was really cool to see the guy, I can't pronounce that country's name, Kazakhstan or something. Uh, he's 39 and one, and I was kind of like, well, the energy coming off of him as he passed was like really amazing. And um, we watched swimming and she left when there was basketball. I tried to change the channel and when she saw tennis on, she got all excited and I was like, why does my nine-year-old sister like tennis? None of us play tennis. And I was like, I blame the Wii because they have like Wii games on there. I guess one of those that you can play tennis. Um, but I was telling her, she's like, I'm like, well, I'm booting root. Routine. God, I can't talk today. Uh, for Germany and America, I said America because that's our country. That's where we were born in. That's where we live in Germany because that's mainly where most of our ancestors are from. Um, she's my half sister, so we share the same mother. And our mom is basically full-blooded German. Um, she had some ancestors who lived in Prussia when that country existed. So there were some that were born in Poland, and she also has some far-off ancestors that were um, in Belgium, but. It doesn't count enough for me to really consider her either Prussian or Belgian. Uh, I think the part of Belgium anyway that she her family is from is now part of France. Um, but my mom's German. Her parents are from Germany. I consider myself mostly German because my dad, even though he's a mutt, he has a lot of German blood as well. And so um, and I grew up mostly with my mom's family. So you know, German cups, customs, and culture were part of my upbringing. German stories, hearing my mama and my grandparents speak German. Um, different things like that. And I wrote that that I was like, yeah, I'm rooting for Germany in, in America. And she said, she was laying on the bed and she's like, what sports are the Germans in? Or which ones are the Germans in? So she's talking about sports. I said, a lot. And she goes, I bet they do all the ones where they lift heavy things or do push-ups. And, <laughs> and I'm like, probably. And it's strange that she's nine and I've never really, she's only seen like really our family and gone to a couple like Oktoberfest events here. Not really seen anything about Germans. So I'm wondering where she's getting this like stereotype that Germans are these huge hulking people that are strong and scary. I'm like, unless she's looking at me thinking I'm like that or something. Because my mom's not, um, she's not, she, I mean, she's, she's not stereotypical German looking. She's very dark. She's olive skin, brown hair, brown eyes. She gets that from her dad, who's the same way, so it's like a Bavarian kind of coloring. Um, uh, well, he's from Berlin, and we've been there, and most people were the same as they look. And my uh, Oma is more fair. But I'm like, I wonder if she's watching cartoons or something, because I still see the German stereotypes in cartoons and whatnot, and I'm like, that's not fair! <laughs> but then I meet, I'll meet a German that fits the stereotype, and I was like, that's why they still have them, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... But I also wrote on some, two of my fan pages for the Wallen Spindle and Mina's Pop Carry. I was like, I'm so, I'm rooting for these, for Germany and America because of where I'm from and where my family's from. I'm like, I'm happy to see other countries win. I'm happy that they're there. And somebody had wrote, um, you should, like, there, you, you should be happy that there's at least competitors or something. And I was talking to my dad. He was like, it's a hippie view. <laughs> he was saying that people we should all be we shouldn't be rooting for anybody we should just be happy that people made it and that they have these talents whatever but I'm like hey but if we're happy for them should we be sad for the people who didn't make it I'm like if there's more fun in it and in rooting for somebody I personally I root for Germany and America and like it's cool to say anybody win I'm kind of like yeah but when Germany and America win I'm more excited it's not that I'm against anybody else winning I know like the underdogs this year people have been talking about Croatia a lot and it's usually the smaller countries um, I know there's one country, I can't pronounce it, it starts with E, Eritia or something, I think they're doing more than one uh, event this year, um, I'm not sure, if, like, before, if somebody had written, it was a small paragraph, so it said basically, with, it was like a caption, saying, like, they're doing actually more than doing, um, one event, so I'm assuming that they've only, they're a very small country, they've only participated in just a few events over the last, uh, whatever, uh, 30 or so uh, modern day Olympics. I'm not sure if they're even in all of them. Um, but I'm having a good time watching Olympics. My family's not really into the Olympics. My dad is because he's a sports kind of person, but my parents are divorced. So he doesn't live here to make us watch it. And growing up, my mom worked a lot and everything. So I don't think we've watched it before, usually like gymnastics or something. We've never been a family that just like sat there and watched it all the time. I know a lot of people are having parties and stuff. So I'm trying to watch it more that I'm older thinking more like they're watching history being made basically you know these are things that people are going to be talking about and I've been watching um, 
clips and whatnot and, and the news is covering when like the last time the because I guess the in the modern times um the Olympics have been in England three times. This is the third time. So I was watching one on when it was in 1948, which was kind of heart wrenching in a sense. It was like right after the war, and they were still well, a couple years after the war, and they were still suffering and everything. And people, the different teams had to like import their own food. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into the England thing because my family is from Germany. My grandparents did grow up in that war. Um, I'm not gonna get into that now. Um, but. Um, I want to know who you're rooting for, if you are, and I know there's tons of different opinions on these, on just sports, and especially the Olympics, because it's such a huge, like, worldwide thing. Some people are like, just be happy people are there, you know, people are like, well, they're competing, that's negative, and, you know, it, it ranges. Other people are like, I'm only going for my country because they are my country, and some people are actually going for individual, um, athletes because of they like their story or they're good athletes you know people like in football and stuff they have their well football is always my go-to um because we have the chargers and the padres were in my city and uh, i think it's chargers even i'm not sure actually i don't really follow sports if you can't tell the only time we ever get excited is the, like soccer world cup because my fit my uh, mom's family is really into soccer and um that's pretty much it but um, this has been cool. I, I've got to see fencing, which was really awesome. It was interesting to see their different, how they react to each other. It made me wish, like, I was more of a small uh, and fast kind of girl instead of a big, slow, Hulk smash kind of girl. Because <laughs> uh, fencing would be cool. My friend said I could learn those techniques and stuff, but big girl in a small white outfit, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I like to hear what things you've seen that have been inspiring. That's the main thing I love watching about the Olympics is when you see somebody win and it's just like their energy is great or the moment was fantastic and it's just really inspiring. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like to hear your views on it, what you've seen that was really cool, what teams you're rooting for, anything like that. So, yeah, thank you for watching.